and welcome to your Go Market update with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Go Markets on this Wednesday, the 3rd of August. Hope you're all well. Let's just have a look at what's come across the news today. Of course, US markets closed weaker for the second consecutive session. Earnings were mixed and markets still have its eyes on key data. Additionally, Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan is a noticeable market chatter topic. Concerns about the impact of China-US relations are playing on market minds a little bit over the last 24 hours. Also, we had mixed leading Fed members' comments as well. Uh, we had the notorious hawk Fed member Bullard from St. Louis, who suggested that a soft economic landing was certainly on the cards. But uh, US futures are mixed on after hours data and continued caution. We had PayPal beating expectations significantly up in after hours trading around about 10%. AMD, although they beat on the EPS, forward guidance has meant the market has punished that stock a little bit in after hours trading down about 4%. So with that caution abounding, Asian indices are mixed. The ASX is down at its worst today of 1%. We, it is a little choppy now at this level. European futures are suggesting a slightly softer open as well. The USD recovered yesterday on that equity market weakness and we saw gold pull back towards that 1750 level after looking as though it may threaten 1800. Oil is weaker again and pulls back to $100 a barrel. VIX is slightly higher on that equity weakness and we're also seeing some weakness in base metals with copper just pulling down a little. A Bitcoin is drifting downwards today trading below that 23700 resistance in the short term range but still above that 21,500 that was resistance a couple of weeks ago. It is another big earnings day, of course, today. We've got CVS, Moderna, Clorox and eBay all reporting amongst many, many companies. Additionally, we've got global services PMI data, which is due today, and Eurozone PPI, all of which are relatively important numbers in terms of an assessment of where the economy is. US factory orders complete the day's data with, of course, US jobs out tomorrow from the weekly point of view and monthly jobs on Friday with the non-farm payrolls. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. We're going to start with zero and you can see a really nice pop in this, possibly in response to what happened with PayPal, but this whole sector is looking pretty strong at the moment. And you can see that significant move through previous resistance. We paused a little bit once we broke 92, uh, but you can see there we're trading towards the highs of the session around about 96 looks as though a four percent move up to around about this hundred dollar level is certainly on the cards in the short term after significant yen strength over the previous days we saw a bounce yesterday despite early yen strength in some of the commodity based currencies and the canadian dollar yen is a good example of that so you can see that bounce off support at 10188 and a really strong move in the back end of yesterday's session you can see it move up once the us market start we're continuing this in asia after a pause towards the back end of the us market and could see us up around about 10460 in the short term so that's one to potentially watch but seeing this across a lot of the yen crosses so it's worthwhile checking out where others are too trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now